Hey Mike, it's Charlie. Sorry, I'll be running late. Jasmine made me stop off at the shops for something on my way over. Traffic was a nightmare. Just wait for me outside the flat. I'll be there soon. Sorry again. <laughs> you took your time. Sorry mate. Traffic getting into town, you know? We're still making good time. Yeah, sure. Here's my suitcase. Cheers. There. We best get going. Well? What? Daddy Charlie, eh? How have you been, mate? Don't call me that. I dread being called oh, that. Oh, come on. You better get used to it with a little one on the way. Plus... You've kept me waiting for half an hour. Right. You getting in then? Oh, right. <sighs> Idiot. I'm surprised you remembered the address. Not that difficult, is it? This used to be my second home. Hang on. What is this? What? Baby on board. What's this for? What do you think this is for? Michael, really? Alright, alright. Bit early though, isn't it? Jasmine thought it looked nice. Bit odd. How? Aren't we going or what? Whatever. Mate. Mate. How long is it till we get to yours? Um, Satnav says five hours. Five hours? We're driving a long way, man. Cardiff to Kent isn't short. <sighs> you, uh, got change? What for? Dartford Crossing. We're way off yet. Yeah, but we'll need it at some point, won't we? Satnav says we're three hours out. Uh, all right. What, are you hungry or something? No, no, it's fine. Toilet? No. Great. How is uh, Jasmine then? She's okay. Need to make sure she's not by herself for too long. She can take care of herself. You and I need a proper reunion. I'll Google some pubs along the way. Wait. Firstly, I can't drink and drive. Secondly, my girlfriend is heavily pregnant with my kid. I have to get back. Oh, God, you're no fun. <laughs> I'm not the same guy from uni anymore. Yeah, obviously. Can we, uh, pull over? I'm hungry. <sighs> sure. Did you get me some? Oh. You didn't say you wanted any. I'm driving you five hours back to my place and you didn't think I'd need food. Sorry. Didn't think. You should tell me next time. Right. So, so you and Jasmine excited? Of course. Why? Well, you know, it's a, it's a big step and all that. Yeah, gotta step up. Yeah. Mind you, working away from home is tough. Sure. She's at a point where she needs help around the house, and I can't be there for her. Well, what does she do? Mum helps. Hers or mine. I'd rather be there for her, though. I, uh, I didn't say, but thanks for bringing me back to yours for the summer. If there's uh, anything I can do to repay you. No need, mate. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't ask either. How was uni? It's good. Lectures are boring, as per usual. <laughs> Mr. Taylor, right? Oh, he just shouts at the class. Honestly. Keeps you awake, but bores you to sleep. Christ. Last year starts this September though, right? Yeah. 
Come on then. Let's get going. Whoa. What do you think you're doing? Getting in the car and starting the engine. No, we need to go out on the town, mate. Like old times. Sorry? When you get home, you become all boring and old, like my parents. I was thinking, this is your last chance to do anything you want before you have to commit to it. I'm already committed to it. Yeah, but once you're home, you won't be able to go out anymore. You'll be stuck at home looking after your girlfriend. I want to be looking after her. This is my decision. Yeah, you sound it. In case you haven't noticed, we're in a fucking car park along the motorway. Where on earth are we going to go out on the town? A town will be nearby. Just top up the ticket and we'll head out. And you're paying for that? Well, I haven't got any money. How did you pay for those crisps then? Oh, don't be difficult, man. I don't have the cash to spare, mate. Look, we're not far away from a nightclub. It won't be long. It's four in the evening and we're in the middle of nowhere. We're actually in a small town called uh, Shrivenham. Which sounds boring, and once again, it's the middle of nowhere. Nightclubs? You think there'll be nightclubs in the small town of Shrivenham? You doubt me, but I do. Since when did you go out to nightclubs? Since always. I can't recall a single time you've been interested. You're getting forgetful. You're being stupid. A bit of googling on the toilet approves you wrong. That's gross. The nightclub is called, get ready for this, Sensation. <sighs> Sounds terrible. I think it might be worth a look. Mike, we've got a long drive ahead of us. It's later than I'd like to be, let alone that we'll get to mine at 9pm at this rate. And the fact that we've spent the last five minutes having this discussion. I understand that, man. Completely. I do. But she won't give birth tomorrow. You know this, do you? Sure. How? Well, I... Um, statistically, it won't happen. What the... I'm not going out and getting pissed. Look, we could just... No. Fuck's sake. You're really no fun. Sorry, man. I didn't want to bring the mood down, but I can't be late. Sure. Sorry. Shit. Car trouble? This is bloody typical. Right. I just spoke to the guy from the AA. They're taking the car away because of how late it is. Mm. It won't be fixed until morning. That's a bit of shit. I suppose your idea of going out into town is more appealing now. They'll give me a ring in the morning when the car is ready. You got me one of those. I just finished. Yeah, but when you said you were going to McDonald's, I didn't realise it was just for you. You didn't ask. It's just good manners to ask the person who's driving you if they'd like something. Well, you've got money. So have you! But you're getting this ride for free! Well, go in and get one. I can't now! All of my cash is going on fixing the sodding car! Not my fault, is it? <sighs> Twat. What? Uh, where's town, Michael? My phone's on 10%. I'm not sure how long I can keep this torch on. We'd better get moving then. I think I can see lights in the distance. I can't even tell through the branches ahead. Don't worry, matey. We'll reach civilization again. At this stage, I just want to sit down. Do you, uh... Or do you know what you're having yet? Or your girl? No, we... We want it to be a surprise. <laughs> just like how the baby itself was. <laughs> uh, right, uh, anyway. Would it be uh, better if you knew? Saves you buying two sets of clothes. Girls can suit blue, boys can suit pink. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, if you want to have a gay son. What did you just say? I'm only joking. That's not funny. It's just bants. We'd best get to the town quickly before my phone runs out of battery.
Come on, make it through. <coughs> well, this will look weird if anyone was watching. We're out on a street. So what? Just two mates out on the town. We're not out on the town. I've got to drive tomorrow. We need to look for a hotel. Sure. Where is everything? Well, we are in Shrivenham. What do you mean? You didn't listen to what I said earlier, did you? <sighs> so time to Google hotels. Not yet. We're not going out on the town. Yes, we are. Google Maps says that there is a nightclub about a 20-minute walk away. It's 6pm. Well, you say that like it's late. It is, for me. Oh my god. God, man. You're so old now. We've led very different lives. I've got responsibilities now. The girls will love a bit of that. What girls? At the club. You're fucking delusional. What did you just say to me? Fucking get it through your thick skull. We are going to a hotel. We are going to sleep in that hotel. Tomorrow, when the car is fixed, I will be driving you back to your university accommodation, where you can stay all summer. You're cancelling the trip? Why? You really have to ask that? You? You've been nothing but difficult all day. I'm trying to give you the farewell tour to your youth before that kid of yours drags you down. I didn't want that. And don't you dare say my child will drag me down because they won't. I'm trying my best here to deal with everything, and I don't need you trying to mess it up! I'm not messing it up. You are selfish, ignorant, and self-entitled. Where's this coming from? How am I those things? You've only thought about yourself. Why would I want to meet girls at the club exactly? I know you do. Is that what this is about? Everything! Never thinking of the friend who's paid hundreds in petrol to get you here to pick you up. Just because he felt sorry for him. You felt sorry for me? You're so fucking lonely. Constantly trying to get pissed to forget who you are. Fuck you. Get your fucking hands off me. No. No, fuck you. You're the messed up one. We used to be awesome friends. Then you left when you knocked her up. I don't hear from you that much anymore. I've been here all day, and you've been an utter dick to me. My kid was not an accident. Then what was it? Because you had to leave uni for it. That wasn't planned, was it? Fuck off! We're young, mate. We're meant to make mistakes. It's all right to admit them. You're a piece of work. Face it. You hate me because of what you used to be before that kid come out. Ugh. Learn your fucking place. My kid is not a hindrance. How dare you say that to me? You... You punched me. Yeah? Don't you forget what you did to deserve it either. The first thing you did when I arrived was moan at me. You then went on to criticise me and then asked me to pull over and get change despite the fact that you've already got cash on you already. I mean, Christ, Mike, I'm paying for the petrol to get you to mine and then back. During a time where my girlfriend could be about to give birth at any moment. And you want to drain more cash from me? Oh, and let's not forget the food. I'm not eating all fucking day. I've been stuck in traffic trying to pick you up so I wouldn't keep you waiting. But during our breaks, you're picking up food for yourself and then claiming to be skint? Then, on top of all that, we arrive here and you want me to meet up with other girls at a nightclub. I'm taken with a kid on the way. Have you heard me now? I get it. Do you? Because now that I've put my foot down, you've now told me that my kid was an accident. L let's not forget that if my kid was a boy, he'll be fucking gay if he wears pink. Isn't that right, Mike? You know what? Fuck it. I won't even drive you home. I'm gonna find a B&B or something, then I'm gonna get a taxi and get the car. You can make your own way home. 
I've heard you. I've heard you all day. Fuck off! That kid is a mistake. And you know it. <laughs> you don't know when to stop, do you? Admit it. My kid wasn't planned, no. Exactly. But don't you call it a mistake. That kid and Jasmine are the best things to happen to me. I'm going. This is the best we can do at such short notice. Thank you so much. It's not a problem. I'll be gone by morning. Of course. Is there anything I can do for you? No, no. I'll be fine. Thank you. You are most welcome. Have a pleasant night, sir. You too. Cheers. Hey, babe. You're nearly here. Jazz. It's been a tough day. You want in the sunshine? Uh, sorry? I said, do you want in? We've got space. Might need to change what you're wearing, though. What? You're covered in dirt, mate. Go home in and change, then come back before nine. You've got time. No. No, I'm, I'm all right. <sighs> Suit yourself. All sorted? Yeah, it was just a petrol line and it was cut. Oh, what could have done that? Just a freak accident, these things happen. Uh, your mate arrived early, he's waiting in the back. My mate? Yeah, he, he arrived at a crack of dawn covered in mud, big for a place to sleep. What happened exactly? Rough night out? We, um, had an argument. Well, I'll get your car prepped outside. You get your friend. Cheers. Michael? What? What? What's? Oh, Charlie. Oh, it's you. The fuck happened to you? Oh, I slept in the town for a bit. I scrambled enough money for a taxi. Oh, I searched around a lot. Oh, Michael. I'm... No. I'm sorry. I had time to calm down and think about what you said. I have been a total dickhead. I... I didn't mean to. I... I just wanted some fun. I know you did. I... I just want to focus on right now. Good. I've also had some time to think about what you said. Jasmine also spoke to me on the phone for a bit, and you're right. I am still preparing for fatherhood, and I've had to make some huge changes in my life. I've become a bit uptight because of it. I'm not really feeling up for jokes or banter because of the stress. I'm sorry. I've got to ask, what's changed with you? The whole nightclub scene was never you. It just... Just keep getting lonely, you know. Imagine the amount of money you could save by not doing that shit. <laughs> you sound like my dad. You're getting into character. <laughs> I'm sorry for what you've been going through. Same to you. Ready to go? Sure. Back home. No, to mine. We can't leave Jasmine waiting. Thank you. Not a problem, man. We just need to support one another. Sure thing, man. Of course. <laughs> 